Well, the recent news of state-enforced atheist China censoring critics and opponents is done through control of political comments on the internet. Now you have to get a license in China to comment on politics. This is what happens when you have state-enforced atheism controlling your country. Because when you have state-enforced atheism, they can't stand critics because atheism can't hold up the critics, whether it be political or religious. Okay? I'm going to read this article from Reclaim the Net about the atheist censorship over in China of pol uh, basically against political dissidents. This is from Reclaim the Net. It says, Beijing is updating its online censorship rules and stepping out their enforcement. As the Cyberspace Administration of China is set to force social media personalities and bloggers to acquire government uh, credentials if they wish to cover issues uh, pertaining to politics, military healthcare, and healthcare, education, the economy, and the judiciary. Even by China's standards, this is interpreted as a significant expansion of the powers of regulators and censors, with the goal of establishing even firmer control over information and promoting only one officially approved narrative on a wide range of key news topics. Requiring bloggers and others publishing online to maintain a permit has been a rule in China since 2017, but until now it only concerned politics and military affairs and was not widely enforced. Continuing, uh, Titus, Titus Chen of the National Sun uh, Yat Sen University in Taiwan summed up the emerging situation by commenting, quote, These regulators want to control the entire procedure of information production. For the authorities, or close the quote, for the authorities, what they're doing is, quote, strengthening the order, strengthening the order in online publishing, unquote. While the Cyberspace Administration did not hide as the new rules were being announced in January, that it, that it wants more powers in supervising and managing, as the agency's chief put it. Uh, unless internet, internet providers have the required credentials, or sorry, internet users have the required credentials, other topics are not, that are now off limits are, quote, out of context. Posts about the history of China and the CPC. Uh, its ruling and the only party, as well as Chinese social media giant Weibo, 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 I hope I'm saying, hope I'm saying that right, explained they can still comment on news stories from official media, quote, unaccredited users are prohibited from writing original news content. So, more censorship in atheist communist China. Now they want to control what's being said, you know, about the government, what's being said about politics. Again, this is why I have that freedom of speech and church-state separation where you don't have this this communist atheist control over everything basically this is why communism and socialism which stem from atheism don't work which is why i say this is the fault of atheism uh north korea and china are direct products of atheism the tyranny that goes on over there atheism is tyranny especially state enforced atheism so this is you know again the fruit of atheism censorship of political comments and of course to censor those who disagree with the state enforced atheism uh, and communism of china the regime of china because again the, the communists can't stand critics like any cult can't stand critics and atheism and communism are both cults atheism is a sci-fi cult that relies on censorship and uh discrediting of their critics so don't be deceived. Uh, it's just insanity. Some of this atheist stuff over in China is atheist communist countries. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.